Hi, welcome to Opera's headquarters in beautiful Oslo, Norway. My name is Julie, and I'm here to introduce to you Opera's new mobile web browser for feature phones and smartphones, Opera Mobile 9.5. Opera Mobile 9.5 aims to bring users closer to the desktop web experience than ever before. It does this in a few ways. First of all, Opera Mobile 9.5 is fast. Opera has reinvented and re-engineered its Presto rendering engine to make page loads speedier than ever before. Secondly, the browser user interface has been completely redone, making the user experience much more intuitive. Features such as panning, page overview, and Opera Zoom allow users to navigate the web with ease. And last but not least, Opera comes equipped with Opera widgets, allowing users to access web content without even having to open the web browser. Now I'd like to introduce Kai, who will run you through a guided tour of Opera 9.5's innovative features. Hi, my name is Kai Jonsson. I work for Opera Software as a project manager. I'm now going to take you through some of the great new features that we have implemented for Opera Mobile 9.5 on this device. One of the great things about Opera Mobile 9.5 is its speed. We're now going to do a comparison to a test between Pocket Internet Explorer on the right-hand side and Opera on the left-hand side by loading The Guardian, a British newspaper. Here we go. And then Opera completed loading. Pocket Internet Explorer is still going. There, Pocket Internet Explorer completed loading the page. As you can see, the browser will automatically turn into full screen mode. This will give more screen estate for the user. In the full screen mode, you can pan around the page, you can zoom in on articles by double tapping. You can also pan around while you're already zoomed in. If you see another area of interest, you can double tap on that again, and that will automatically jump into focus. To zoom out again, we double tap again on the same area, and it zooms out. I'm now going to show you the user interface of the browser. If I click on this transparent icon, it will take up the user interface. If I click on this icon, it will bring up the menu. The icon up here, the reload icon, will change into a stop icon while you're loading a page. The address bar next to it will show you the URL you are currently on. This X will allow you to close the tab. Settings will open the settings page where you can modify the settings of the browser. Transfers will open the transfer manager which will give you access to all the files you have downloaded such as mp3s. Page info will give you access to information about the current page. You can see such things as the URL, whether the page is secure or not, etc. History will give you access to your browsing history. Saved pages will give you access to the pages that you have stored for later offline viewing. This icon will take you to the home page of the browser. This icon will show you the number of open tabs. I can now switch to another tab. This icon opens the bookmarks manager where you can manage your bookmarks. While this last icon will take you back in your browsing history. I'm now going to show you some of the great productivity features of the Opera browser. If I want to go to my Yahoo account, when I start typing, it will see that I visited the page before and it remembers it for me so I don't have to type the entire URL. You can see the padlock icon telling me that the page is secure. Here you can see that the browser is storing my user credentials. Another great productivity feature is that we can send images directly through either email or MMS. If I find an image, I long tap on it, and I can either send it as an MMS or as an email. I'm 
I'm now going to show you an Opera widget running in Opera Mobile 9.5. What's interesting about this widget is that it allows you to pull information from Flickr, from Google Maps, and from CIL World Factbook simultaneously. If I want to go to Spain, maybe I want to learn some more information about that country. I click on Spain and data starts loading. This first page here is pulled from CIA World Factbook. It contains information about Spain. If I want to see the map of Spain, I click on the Google Maps button and it loads the map of Spain. If I just want to see some pictures from Spain, I can click on and it will start loading pictures from Flickr. This widget and many more great widgets can be downloaded from widget.opera.com. So those are some of the cool features of Opera Mobile 9.5. To learn more, please visit our website at opera.com. Thanks for your time.